I want to welcome you here to the second annual U.S. Department of Homeland Security Centers of Excellence Summit. The Center of Excellence Summit gives us a chance to showcase all of the different projects that we've been doing for the last couple years. The networking opportunities here are amazing. The opportunity to hear directly from DHS leadership and those in the Homeland Security Enterprise what's important to them, what keeps them up at night. It convenes a very wide variety of innovation and expertise from across the Centers of Excellence Network and it refocuses it squarely on Homeland Security challenges. Back in 2002, when the Homeland Security Act was stood up, there was an idea to set up uh, some sort of a network, some leveraging capability. I'm just in amazement in terms of what we've been able to accomplish. The structure and the growth that S&T as a directorate, as a headquarters level director, has been able to, to accomplish in terms of managing science, managing science quickly, working with innovators across different domains. It's really, really something special to be part of. This is an extremely nice opportunity for us to actually connect with our colleagues at the other COEs. Helping establish the network of networks of COEs, I think that this is a critical impact. The centers of excellence typically tackle real world problems and real world problems cross academic disciplines. They cross between private sector and public sector. Uh, and so you really need to come together with people who uh, study different things, who approach this from the business perspective, from the government's perspective, from an academic perspective, if you hope to solve these real world problems. You, you can't do it in your own silo. A top priority for us at the department is to leverage emerging technologies and get those into operational hands so that we can meet the demands of the future, right? That's what the COEs are really built around. Homeland Security in general is a fast uh, paced, changing uh, enterprise that's quite diverse. We need to shape the conversation of what's needed to ensure that our next generation is ready and fully capable with scientists, engineers, developers, creative communicators and thinkers, thought leaders, so they're equipped to bring the right tools to the mission sets that we have to address. Preparing for the future of unknowns requires new thinking about investments in research and development, of bringing in diversity, non-traditional apprenticeships, and this is where the COEs, I think, can play a very, very important role for the department and also more so for the nation. Attending the COE Summit was a great opportunity because we got to meet with a lot of different stakeholders, federal partners. That cross-tell opportunity to showcase what each of the centers are doing and connecting with uh, really the, the community of customers. Coming to this event and meeting with the different COEs and the diversity of their operations, meeting with all the senior DHS uh, leadership which we wouldn't otherwise get access to meet is incredibly important and this, this, this event has made that possible. 